You forget how quick the RXV is. Wow. Ah, time for some brappies. Yes, sir, back on the RXV. Uh, for the first time in a while, actually, I've been doing some maintenance on it. I uh, had it down for a while, I rebuilt the forks, and uh, tweaked a few things in the electrical system that still weren't quite uh, where I wanted them to be. New front tire, because the one that was on there was garbage. Uh, usually I like Michelin tires, but this thing wasn't working for this bike, man. Just, nope. So I went to, what the hell did I think? IWC or something like that? Rally, battle, thingamajig, whatever. It's a it's a DOT legal uh, dual sport tire, which for how I ride this thing makes more sense than a competition tire. Here. So what to talk about today? Well, I'm actually gonna revisit uh, my very first video, as it was, uh, where I was talking about uh, Star Wars on this bike. And uh, a couple of things I had to say about Star Wars were not particularly uh, kind, and, and for good reason. I didn't like the movie very much at all. I mean, it was entertaining, but it left a lot to be desired because of how it was written and how it was cast, and uh, I haven't really changed my opinion on that at all. But as part of the... Uh, Star Wars video, I used uh, another movie that was coming out as an example of uh, doing it wrong. E.g. shitty plot, not wonderful acting, and with a, an agenda behind it versus just trying to be entertaining. Um, and that example was the upcoming Ghostbusters reboot. <laughs> and uh, it's finally out, and I went and saw it, unfortunately. I didn't actually see it in the, in the theater. I saw a screener, thank God. Um, what can I say about the new Ghostbusters film? Um, the first thing I can say is I was right. <laughs> it's not a good movie. And the second thing I can say is, uh, not only is it not a good movie, it's quite possibly the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. I'm not kidding, I would rather watch the Smurfs movie than see Ghostbusters again. I would rather watch the Power Rangers movie, well, you know, strapped to a restraint chair, then, oh yeah, I'm liking this tire a lot better, then, then see Ghostbusters again, because it was such complete shit. It's just diabolically bad. And, you know, I gave it a fair shot. I mean, I wanted to just turn it off and not go deal with watching it anymore, because it was so just, just, just bone-crackingly bad. It's, you know, you almost feel sorry for the people who are involved in making it. It's that terrible. <laughs> and, and why is it terrible? Well, it's a, it's a teachable moment. It's a lot of the things I dislike about Hollywood these days. Ghostbusters is a prime example of why you don't make a movie this way if you expect it to actually do well. And, I mean, I'm no authority on the subject, but I did work in Hollywood for well, in the entertainment world for a number of years. Six, seven, eight years, pretty much. And uh, so, you know, I know what works and how marketing works and how to appeal to, a, to an audience um, and how to make a movie that people will actually want to see, at least so far as uh, uh, how you write it and how you uh, cast it and how you uh, basically put the whole thing together. So, Ghostbusters. Uh, what did they do? Well, they rebooted it by and basically said, okay, here, here's our great idea. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to replace the cast with a bunch of girls because reasons. And we're going to write a script that is preachy and annoying because that'll sell. And then if you don't like it, even though it's really unentertaining and, and not at all fun to watch, well, you're just a misogynist. You know, you just don't like women. It's like, no, I love women, okay? I even like strong women in, uh, in movies. And, you know, we've had nearly 100 years of cinema with really interesting, strong female characters. You know, you, whether you go back to uh, Ingrid Bergman in, in Casablanca, who's a awesome actress 
and owned that role, added so much to it. I mean, she was easily the equal of Humphrey Bogart. And, you know, the equal of Humphrey fucking Bogart she was. That's how good she was. And then in more modern times, hell, look at, like, the badass female Bond villains. You know, look at uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Look at, uh, you know, the the dawn of the female action star with Sigourney Weaver in, in the Alien movies. You know, and those are entertaining and they're believable because, you know, it's, all right, it's, it's some woman who's kind of thrust into this position she doesn't want to be in and she just has to fucking suck it up and deal with it. And how she does that makes the character interesting. That's why Ripley's awesome. You know, that's why Ripley spawned a million you know, female action stars to various degrees of success. And, uh, you know, more recently, go look at, uh, what's her name? Uh, Rooney Mara in Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Awesome role. Awesome movie. And, you know, you know how, how, do, how does she deal with, like, you know, strife? She beats the shit out of things. You know, these, it, it's not fucking being a misogynist to not like Ghostbusters, okay? When there's, you'd have to not like all of these movies as well for that to be true. And then you'd just be a fucking idiot. And you'd be denying yourself some of the best cinema out there. So no, Ghostbusters isn't that, because it doesn't have any of those things. It doesn't have interesting acting. It doesn't have a good script. It's just shit. It's it's freaking, you know, let's take a bunch of actors, and ma- uh, uh, female actors, and make them act like they're 12, and give them a bunch of, like, female-centric fart jokes to tell for two hours and sort of wrap it around a plot that makes absolutely no fucking sense at all. And if you don't like this movie, you're sexist. It's like, fuck you, it's just a shit movie. Okay, and there, there's so much of that crap these days where it's like, you know, you made a shitty movie, you know you made a shitty movie. Anyone with a degree of objectivity who has looked at it has said, you know what, this is just a really shitty movie. And yet, you know, all the talking heads and the media and everyone, they're like, oh, well, if you don't like it, you're, you're ex. You know, you're racist or you're sexist. And this has just gotten so stupid. It's just like, no, it's just you made a shit movie, and I'm not going to fucking pay you money to go see it ever again. You know, that's why your friggin' action figures for this mess are on clearance at, at fucking Target before the film even came out. It's because it sucks. <laughs> and, you know, mass retail is better at figuring this out than you morons are. It's just a garbage film. And if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor and don't. Because it's just good Drek. I mean, calling it Drek is being unkind to Drek, frankly. And, you know, I've seen some shitty movies in my day. Hell, I mean, even the original Ghostbusters film, and we won't talk about Ghostbusters 2, you know, were not wonderful movies. Really. I mean, there weren't, like, the high art of cinema. But they didn't take themselves funny, or they didn't take themselves seriously. And they were a bit of a laugh, so people enjoy them. I mean, I was a kid when I saw that, so half of it, you know, kind of sailed over my head But at the time. But, you know, you, you can go back to those movies when you're an adult and say, okay, that was pretty fucking funny, without turning it into, you know, a preach fest. You know, the biggest problem I have with, like, the new Star Wars and... Ghostbusters and all these shitty movies that have come out lately is that you're not trying to write a movie to be entertaining anymore, Hollywood. You're writing a movie to preach to people. And you know what? We don't want to listen to that shit. We don't fucking care what you think. Okay? We don't need to justify our lack of racism or sexism because you think we should have to go see a shitty movie to wear that on our sleeve and say, yeah, I saw Ghostbusters, so I'm not sexist. Well, no, okay? I can go watch Aliens, okay, and not be sexist. I can go watch Girl with a Dragon Tattoo and not be sexist, all right? Because they're good movies, and I enjoyed them, and I I went back and saw them a couple times. So, you know, I can see any number of movies that are good that happen to feature, say, black actors, okay? Who doesn't like Sam Jackson and pretty much everything he's done? Even when he's, you know, making fun of himself, like in uh, uh, Kingsman. It's like, yeah, I'm just going to be a douchebag in this because it's funny. And I'm going to lampoon my own my own shtick. And it's like, okay, that's, you know, top credit to Sam Jackson for doing that because it was fucking hilarious. You know, that was a good movie. And even that had, you know, token female chicks in it uh, 
because Hollywood says we have to have that, but they were okay. You know, they actually added something to the story, unlike, you know, garbage like fucking Ghostbusters, where it's just like, no, you're, you're just, you're taking a script, or rather, you're not even taking a script, you're taking a premise of a script, which is Ghostbusters, and then you're throwing away everything that makes it special and interesting, and replacing it with an opportunity to lecture a captive audience about the way things should be. And it's not funny, it's not entertaining, it's just fucking dumb. You know, and that's why the movie has, by all measure, failed. And that's why every movie like it tends to fail, because no one really wants to see that shit. I sure as fuck don't. Ugh. So yeah, I, you know, I would have liked to have said, hey, I was wrong uh, when I was talking about Star Wars and I said Ghostbusters was gonna suck, but I wasn't. Ghostbusters is the shittiest movie I have ever seen. And because, you know, it was destined to fail. It was set up to fail from day one because it was written to be a lecture rather than an entertaining film. So good job, Hollywood. Thanks for fucking up another one. Hey, did you like this video? Well, hit the like button. Leave me a comment if you want to. And if you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel.